Oh, hey Nick, how was your interview with uh, Face Flicks on? Sorry, I, I don't remember the name. Uh, how was your interview? What? Linear time? I thought I already got the optimal solution. Oh, um, yeah, it was great. Uh, that hash map check you gave me really helped. I'm actually doing the second interview tomorrow. Wow, that's awesome. Have you been grinding lead code recently? Yeah, of course. Don't you think I learned from last time? You know, I'm actually an expert at array questions now. Wait, array questions? You know, Face, your, your company is notorious for asking tree problems in the second interview, right? Wait, what? So you're saying I wasted all this time? Hey, you still got a day to study. So just do some tree problems and hope for the best. Okay, where should I start? I, I don't know, just, just try this one. Fine. Thanks for the help, Nicholas. I mean, you and me both know you're gonna fail either way, so I thought I'd just be nice for once. Good luck. All right, let's see. Given the root of a binary tree, return the maximum width of the given tree. The maximum width of a tree is the maximum width among all levels. Makes sense. The width of one level is defined as the length between the end nodes, where the null nodes between the end nodes are also counted into the calculation. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, this is easy. Let's just uh, draw some examples. So I know how to find the max width. But how do I code it? Can I use a hash map? No, that won't help. <sighs> Screw it. Let's just look at the discussion section. Ugh, recursion. This doesn't make any sense. So what you can do is, suppose I have to find the width of this little. I can get the index of the last node. What is he saying? Is then I can get the index of Screw the last it. node. Let's just take this, paste it here. Boom, passed. Good job, Nick. That's enough lead code for today. Where is this guy? He's already 10 minutes late. Oh, hey, Nick. Sorry I'm late, I was just outside. Anyways, my name is Nick Sin, and I'm a staff engineer here at Face on Google Applix. Congratulations on making it to the second round of interviews where we use Google Docs. Let me just drop the link in the chat and we'll get started. Relax, Nick. You already know your arrays inside out. So, given an integer array, find the contiguous subarray, containing at least one number, of course, which has the largest sum and return its sum. Ha! Huh. Lead code problem 53, maximum subarray. Easy. I just need to implement Kadane's algorithm. Yeah, so what we can do is iterate through the array and keep track of a local and global max. And so in each iteration, we'll be setting our local max to be the maximum between our current number and the sum of the current number and local max. And then if this local max is greater than our global max, then we'll just update the global max. And so at the end, we just return this global maximum. This sounds like a great approach. Feel free to code it up. Sure. The solution is O of n in time since we're only iterating through the array once and it's O of 1 in space. Awesome, this looks great. Yes, finally. This interview was even easier than the first one. Now let's move on to the second problem. You've got to be kidding me. Well, it'll probably be another array question anyways. All right, so given the root of a binary tree, return the maximum width of the given tree. The maximum width of a tree is the... Congratulations, you've made it until the end of this video. And I appreciate that. I just wanna quickly announce that we've set up a Discord server for the Nicholas T community. So feel free to join, chat with me, chat with other members. And we have about 170 members so far. So if you wanna join, the link is in the description. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.